Well, we're really excited about Google Chrome because we really like to innovate where we see not enough progress being made. And browsers are great, they've come a long way. In truth, they deal with HTML in a way that's much more sophisticated and efficient than ever before. But when, while HTML is raced, raced, and, the, and the browser's ability to handle it has raced ahead, we actually haven't seen very much innovation in the way JavaScript gets handled and in the way some of the new paradigms that are coming out in Web 2.0 really get harnessed. So for example, Ajax applications like Google Maps, like Gmail, you can tell we have a vested interest here. They, tend, they haven't evolved at all. So with Chrome, one of the most exciting things we've done is really made it a browser that's much better at dealing with these new sophisticated kinds of web pages. We've got a new engine for JavaScript in called V8. We used WebKit for HTML, which is an open source renderer, because we know that, as I said, HTML has come a long way, built V8 from scratch. And from the user experience, there's a bunch of really nice features. Um, like, for example, we have what we call the Omnibox. You can type in a URL into it, you can type a search into it, and the browser just figures out what you're, what you're doing and produces the right amount of content. The interface is super streamlined, so you get bigger web pages, more web page in view at any given moment, uh, which is particularly nice. There's things like the new tab page. I don't know about you, but when I open up a browser, sometimes I get my home page. If I have a browser open already, sometimes it just loads the page I'm already looking at. And we thought this was kind of silly, and we thought there was a big area for innovation on the new tab page, showing people their bookmarks, their most recently visited sites, their most visited sites. So really pulling that all together so you have a jump off point in the form of your new tab page that could bring you to any one of 20 places you're really likely to go is something that's really nice. And we have a lot of other nice features like incognito mode. It's an easier way for you to browse the web, uh, browse the web anonymously. So if you want to browse the web anonymously, you can without having to clear your history and clear your cookies and lose all your usernames and passwords, all of those types of things. So we really looked at what we thought browsers did well already and tried to build on top of that and then looked at what we thought, where we thought they could really advance and you know, common everyday problems like typing URLs into the search bar or search into the URL bar. We thought, we thought why not make it one bar? Why might they not make the experience of opening new tabs easier. And also, the tab thing is something that we think is one of the biggest innovations that's come to browsing. It was pioneered by Firefox, now adopted by IE. But even in the tab paradigm, we found ways to improve. So when you look at things like the tabs, I don't know if you've had this problem, but I certainly have, where I'll hit a really complicated web page on one tab, it messes up my browser and the whole thing goes down. Chrome is built on some really great computer science principles around segmenting the processes, processes so the, they can't interfere with each other. So if you lose one tab, you get what we call a sad tab, has a little frowny face and you can just close that, as opposed to losing all of your work in all those different tab states. So you don't have 10 or 15 tabs open, email here, calendar there, you lose the whole thing and have to re-log in and reset it all up. You just lose the one tab that became unhappy.